Hey everybody, I am Scotty J, and welcome back to Rock Titan Live. Got a very cool guest with us today. And uh, new band, relatively new band, with uh, you know a person that you may be very well familiar with, just because we've had some of the other band members on Rock Titan titan live uh previously uh but these guys got their debut album coming out called redemption on june 25th via rat pack records and of course how many people have we talked with from rat pack records so you know these guys gotta be good and uh the lead singer of this band's got a real interesting story the name of the band is the ceo the front man is mac mullins and he himself happens to be a ceo mac how are you I am doing fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Scotty, for having us, man. So it's it's uh, it's really cool to be here. Yeah, no, well, thank you. It's awesome having you on. And you know, I mean, I'm just I'm listening to your music. Everybody, you haven't had a chance necessarily to uh, hear the entire album yet, but Redemption is an official music video that you can go listen to right now. Um, and before I talk out of turn. Mac, uh, do you have any other videos out there from Redemption? Redemption, obviously, is the one video you have out there. Do you have another video, though, that I missed? We have a lyric video coming out next Friday, I want to say the 11th, for okay. another track called Behind These Eyes. Right on. Right on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll tell you what. You guys didn't mess around with this debut album. I mean, you got 12 tracks on there. You know? I mean, that's, that is a yeah, actually, real... there's 13. There's is there 13? 13? So... Okay, well, I can't yeah, count. It's, there's, there's certain. Well, it's it's twelve on on some formats. Obviously, LP is you know the timing. But we had we did a cover of a Def Leppard song that Elvis thought would be really cool, and we were all kind of looking at each other, going, "Hey, I don't know if we could pull off old Def Leppard." And uh, you have to listen to it. It's uh, high and dry Saturday night, and I think it came out really cool. Oh man, I tell so you that's, what, that's, that's a tall order. For certain formats, so it's there's there's thirteen uh, on certain formats, yeah. All right, okay, yeah, because I I I only heard twelve, and uh, so we got Twin Flame, Behind These Eyes, Redemption, Black Hearts, Dirty Tragic, The Storm, Alive, Beginning and the End, Bourbon Straight, Work of Heart, Casting Shadows, Alone and Dead. That's the version I got. Yep. Well, we've got another one. Just we'll send your way, just for just right. for giggles. That's very cool. Now, I I love uh, you know Death Leopard too. We've had Rick Allen on the show a bunch of times. So everybody, you know, if yeah. uh, you know if you feel so inclined, go check out the stuff that I've done with Rick Allen. He's an absolutely awesome dude, and uh, he's got an event coming up uh, this weekend. As a matter of fact, which should be really cool. He's doing some uh, EDM stuff. But uh, oh man, I digress. So the CEO. That is not just, you know, a, a play on, you know, the acronym itself, you know. But uh, so you yourself, Mac, actually are a CEO. Uh, so I'm assuming that, you know, being the front man of this band, this isn't your day job. You actually have a day job. Yeah, well, at 50 years old, I've been playing music since I was, uh, you know, 14, 13, 15, whatever it is, you know, it's... You know, you got to pay your bills somehow. So, right. you know, clearly it was it was running parallel this whole time, and I was way more successful at business than I had been at music up to this point. So, and uh, I like to eat, so it is what it is. <laughs> That's wild, though, man. So, I mean, you white collar by day, rocker by when you're not doing your by day stuff. I, I don't want to say <laughs> rocker by night because, you know, you probably do it during yeah. the day during the weekends and you probably have maybe somewhat of a flexible schedule being in business for yourself running your own uh organization what kind of what, what are you the ceo of well I, I i work for two different companies one is uh you know the barely group is a group that uh, does um security um, securities um trading okay we teach uh, we teach banks how to do uh, security trading all right so it's very, very boring. <laughs> so even let's let's just say hypothetically that the CEO, once redemption comes out, you know, you guys are huge. You know, I mean, you guys are getting like played all over every single radio station across the country. You guys are dominating Sirius XM on Octane and other stations. 
and, uh, you know, you got to go out on tour, you know, now the time comes where you got to, you know, do a, at least a year long tour, you know, with, uh, maybe another big band for, uh, the bass player that you currently have. And, uh, hopefully that lasts for a long time. I think that's very cool, but, uh, I guess it would probably take a lot for you to make that kind of a commitment though, and walk away from your day job. You know, you, I'm assuming you probably make a pretty good living and, and it's yeah. not so easy being a musician these days, professional musician. It is very hard. Yeah. I mean, and, and clearly, I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot more to it than just that. So, you know, for us, it's, you know, we're looking at opportunities that are, you know, flyaways, festivals, that kind of thing until it makes if it ever makes sense to do something like that. But uh, I think, you know, uh, uh, you know, even Vince, you know, you know, who's, uh, you know, a 30 year veteran Grammy nominee gets up on uh, Monday morning, like I do and goes to work when he's not playing and touring with seven us. So he figures out a way to make it work and work for his family. And you know, we will too. So Mac, I let you bring up Vince Hornsby first. I did not bring him up. I've been dancing around him the entire time since I did the Boss. intro. You know, you know, but uh, so, yeah, so Vince is your bass player. And again, everybody, of course, we uh, we've had uh, Morgan Rose, the drummer on our program, because he's got a band that he's also uh, singing with great singing voice. And of course, Clint Lowry, he's got his own stuff, too. So, I mean, he he's he's got his own project on the side, you know, from Seven Dust. And he actually filled in with Seether until his brother took over not too long ago. So uh, that's really cool. So a lot of multifaceted talents there. Um, how how did the whole how did you get acquainted with Vince and what made him want to to join your band? Well, it's funny because you know the guy that Vince works with when he's not in Seven Dust um, is a home builder and a very good friend of mine who used to work on uh, a previous band's road crew. He was our head carpenter. Oh wow! So you know we had and so we all know each other. We're playing the same. Uh, areas of town and same circles, that kind of thing. And it really was, you know, I put out a, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, a solo record and did a uh, showcase. We invited Vince out and he liked it so much that he called uh, uh, his producer, which was the producer, uh, uh, you know, obviously for us now, Elvis Basquette. And he said, hey, you know, listen to these guys, let us know what you think. And they basically sent us to Camp Elvis for a few weeks to see if we could, you know, hack it in the studio. And, and we did four songs. And Elvis called him up, called Vince up and said, uh, not only do I like this band, but you you need to be in this. And you need to come down here and be in this band with them and finish this record. And that's exactly what he did. He came down and we jammed out another, you know, six or seven songs or whatever that was, and the rest is history. And, you know, wow. I said, we practically knew each other anyway. Okay. Uh, ran into circles, and it's the whole reason I'm sitting here is because of the boss. Man, that's awesome, dude. That that that's That's an incredible story. Now, I'm assuming you had been a fan of Seven Dust, you know, prior to your even being familiar with Vince? You're not allowed to live in Atlanta. And not be a seven dust fan, That's right? The deal, yeah, yeah, right on. So, I mean, that had to be surreal, though. You know, I mean, when when uh, it's great, it's great. Yeah. And the cool thing is, you, you know, you, you got posters of these guys on your wall when you're younger, and you know, I can tell him that because we're both the same age, and all right? Time. Right. But you know, you grow up idolizing these guys, and you know, here's this super nice guy that's just hanging out and just wants to play music and you know he's just one of the boys you know what I mean it's so weird. but you're looking around and going this is crazy you know I used to sit in the audience and watch him play and now he's in my basement and we're writing songs together it's it's ridiculous right right well everybody I just want to say again I am here with Mac Mullins and he is the lead singer of the CEO of which Vince Hornsby from Seven Dust is the bass player. And man, you got some chops, man. And uh, again, Redemption, Redemption, the debut LP from this band is coming out June 25th via Rat Pack Records. And so I have to assume just because of the quality of the music that you've put together 
that this wasn't like some midlife crisis. Like you didn't just reach a point in your life where you're like, oh man, you know, like the day job's great and, you know, I got a good career going, but I got this itch I got to scratch, you know, I've always wanted to sing in, in, in a band and, you know, I'm going to go off and do this like as part of some midlife crisis or has music really been a huge part of who you are, um, you know, and, and you've been doing this for a long time. I don't know. I mean, has, has music been a huge part of your life and have you been singing like in other projects and other bands over the years? Huge part, you know, if, yeah. if anything, you know, I started you know, writing songs and playing music when I, again, when I'm, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, because right. I mean, I, this, I had no designs on being a, uh, an entrepreneur or a business professional or security trader. I want to be a rock star. Uh, and, you know, you know how that goes. You know, it's, it's, it's a long, yeah. hard road. Some guys get there at 21. Some guys get there at 50. You know, and so I've been running parallel in music and, and playing it and, and writing, you know, for 30 some years or however long it's been, you know, 40 years, whatever that is. So, yeah, it's just a little late to the party, but I'm, we finally showed up. Hey, man, I am late to the party myself. You know, the only difference is some of the people closest to me, they literally do think I am having a nervous breakdown. You know, like I am having a midlife crisis, but no, I mean, I've been at this for a little while now, you know, just like you have, you know, but sometimes right. it just, you know, life takes hold and you get certain yeah. priorities and obligations, you know, and, you know, you got to be careful of where your focus is. But the one thing that is absolutely for certain is you cannot deny who you are. You know, and I think that applies to so many facets in life, especially the world that we live in now, you know. No matter who you are, no matter what walk of life you come from, you can't deny who you are inside, nor should you. You know, you got to be who you were born to be, no matter what the heck that is. So I think that's awesome that you're doing this. Good. Thank you. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. so um, what? what's the thought process moving forward? I should maybe let me frame it like this. Are you prepared? for any significant success that may be coming your way? Are you prepared for, for that kind of attention and to maybe make this a much more significant, um, you know, entity, you know, if you will, or, or an endeavor, I should say, are you prepared to make this a more significant endeavor than maybe what you had initially planned on? I think right now, I, I mean, we're, we're, especially for me, you know, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, Vince has been there, done that, got the t-shirt, you know, I, this is for us, our first time around, this is all really new, right. you know, even though I said we've been playing forever, you know, this, this portion of it is new. So I'm really just kind of enjoying the process and, and kind of, you know, each day as it comes, but, you know, ultimately it's like, okay, this is great. We, 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 the record's been done for a year, obviously COVID happened. It's right. been shelved. You know, we're, we've got enough material right now for album number two. Uh, so our, our, I guess our, our heads are, we're, we're excited about this record. We hope everybody loves it. We hope you love it enough to where you would want to hear album, a second record. And then if you do, great, let's go record that. And if they if we put it out and they don't like it, then I'll go to work on Monday, just like anybody else. So that's that's kind of my attitude is kind of, you know, this is fantastic. I love it. I hope people love the record. If it lasts for six minutes or six years, great. Right on. Right. On. Well, I'll tell you what, everybody, full transparency, um, I, and I'm not just saying this because I've got Mac with me here right now, um, but no, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't say anything at all. That I kind of live by the old mantra, if you don't have anything nice, don't say anything at all. So if I'm ever talking with one of my guests on the program and I'm not complimenting them... <laughs> You know, it's like, you know, maybe I don't have anything particularly great to say about what they put out. I'm just going to be as nice and hospitable as a host as I can possibly be. But, uh, right. you know, when it comes to redemption, man, you know, I'm listening to it and I'm like, wow. I'm, if you put it this way, everybody, if you're a fan of Seven Dust, you're going to love the CEO. I mean, literally. Uh, you know, Mac does not sound like Lejeune, but the overall style of music, if you will, that hard rock, heavy metal you know, type of, you know, in between that universe, you know, that's, that's what it is. And, and you've got great singing chops, man. Um, as far as the writing process goes, you know, I mean, 
you're a singer songwriter now, you know, add that to your list of credentials. Um, where do you kind of get your inspiration from? I mean, again, I mean, I'm looking at some of the, the, the titles on redemption and beginning in the end work of heart alone and dead. You know, some of these things are like, you know, kind of like a deep meaning. Um, when you're writing, do you kind of write it from like a first person, like making it very personal for you? Or is any of it like more fictitious, like, you know, kind of where you're writing from a place of, you know, more creative fiction type thing? Like, where do you do you draw it from more personal or more from that creative, non-personal side? It's definitely personal. Uh, you know, I, I'm not that creative to come up with these really cool storylines and you know, that kind of thing. It's it's whatever's happening in the world or in my personal life at that particular time. And, you know, at, when this album was written, there was some significant uh, things going on uh, politically. There were some significant things going on personally in my life. Right. And if you dig, you know, if you, if you listen to the entire album, you can see what that, you know, what's going on in the world during this time when it was written and probably what I was going through during that time from, you know, relationships and, you know, uh, you know, my sister passed away. So we, you know, we're dealing with that in one of the songs. So everything is very personal uh, and it's, uh, it's true. So, and I can't write, I can't fake um, storylines or anything that I don't honestly feel or, or have that experience. So, to, to, to your question, it's definitely personal. It's definitely uh, something that um, is very meaningful to me personally. Right on. All right. Well, I know it's uh, a Friday evening here. I'm giving it away, yeah. everybody. So it's a Friday evening, and you got better things to do than talk to me all night long, you know? But, uh, you know, it's right, kind I of some. Talk as much as you want to. <laughs> With some, some parting thoughts here, Mac. Um, mm -hmm. As we head into the summer season, you know, the concert season is upon us, and it looks like we are really uh, going to get back to some semblance of normalcy here. You know, I, it, it looks like these things are going to happen. Maybe more so in you know, toward the tail end of August, September. I'm kind of seeing more there. I haven't seen a whole lot going on in June, July necessarily, um, but that could always change. Uh, but uh, so... Is there the ambition and or have you already made plans for the CEO to perform live over the course of the summer, like outside of the Atlanta region? Well, the, the good news is, you know, obviously the guys in Seven Dust, they put out their new album last year, clearly weren't able to tour it. So they're able to go out June and July of this year, which may stretch a little into uh, September. So once they do that, then, you know, Vince will be available to come back and we'll kind of pick up, uh, you know, where in the fall. So we expect, okay. you know, some, some flyaways, some festivals, that kind of thing. But, you know, again, you're, you know, a, a, a new unknown act and, you know, you've got to start where everybody else starts. Yeah, so. right on, man. Right on. But that is a plan. I mean, you guys are fully, the expectation is you're going to get out there and play live. If people want to see us play live, we'll absolutely do that. Right on. All right. Well, Mac, thank you again for joining me on Rock Titan Live. It has been absolutely awesome talking to you. And, uh, you know, again, everybody, if you enjoyed this podcast, which I have every single expectation that you did, show us a little bit of love, you know, give us a little subscribe and check out some of the other great interviews we have out there. Again, you know, I mean, we got Vince, you know, who's in the CEO with Mac here and we've spoken with Clint. We've had some great conversations with him and we have a really cool chat out there with Morgan Rose. So make sure you go check that out. And, uh, yeah, man. So, uh, the, the uh, Redemption, again, comes out June 25th via Rat Pack Records. And, uh, right. you know, it's awesome. It's good stuff. Go check out the video right now. And what was it again, Mac, that you have coming out uh, in the near future? Behind These Eyes, next week, Lyric Video. Right on. All right. Very cool. Well, Mac, thanks again. Everybody, I'm Scotty J. Yes, absolutely, sir. I'm Scotty J. You're watching Rock Titan Live. We're out. <laughs>